All right. Hey there. This is your Avon lady, Chris Arnold. And I wanted to come out and give you a little something different today. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about skincare for men. Uh, but I figured the best way to do that would be to bring in sort of an expert on Avon skincare for men. And that is the top selling Avon man from the Sunrise Beauty team, my friend Daniel Cabrera. Hello, everybody. Hey. Um, so the first thing we wanted to do is we wanted to clear up a couple of quick myths about uh, men and skincare. And the first one is the myth that men need different skincare than what women need. So would you mm. say that that's true, that men mm. need different skincare, or is that just, just a myth? It is definitely a myth. That is false, because uh, we are all humans. We all have skin that you know can uh, react similarly to elements and stuff. Uh, so it's definitely a myth. Um, men and women both do need skincare, and uh, there are products out there that work for both men and women. Uh, there's products that are not necessarily geared towards one gender, and then there's those that are geared towards men. And really, those products that are geared towards men are simply just skincare products that are marketed as it as uh, products for men, uh, only because of maybe the packaging or because they maybe make the product a little bit more masculine in terms of maybe adding a hint of a masculine scent to it. But the main ingredients to what it covers and what it actually treats, it's the same thing. Yeah. So that kind of mm. also busts the second myth, and that's the myth that women, uh, that Avon does only has skincare for women. Um, in fact, none of our skincare actually says day cream for women, cleanser for women. Um, they're they're all all good for anyone with skin, really. So, exactly for um, anybody that has skin. And as far as I know, last time I checked, everybody I met has skin. So, uh, so yeah, everything we have, none of it says for women in terms of skincare. Uh, we may have some things that are for men, but it's very few and far between. So, uh, but all of our skincare, gender neutral. But yeah, yeah we do I have a say, couple things. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and start by showing? Um, we do have two lines that are um, specifically for men. Um, they're geared more toward um, you know guys that want a very quick and easy skincare regimen. And mm -hmm. they do have that more masculine scent and packaging that you mentioned. Yes. So, uh, so first off, the simplest line we have is a new line we have called Gentology. Now, that, of course, that is a play on the words gentleman and uh, whatever ology you want to it's think a, of. Yeah, yeah, science. Yeah. It's, it's a, like a men's science sort of thing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two products with this line, and here's the first one. This is the Gentology for Men Herb and Aloe Total Care Moisturizer. Here it is right here. Uh, this is the full size here, which, by the way, is 5.1 ounces. Uh, it's, you know, grooming with confidence, and uh, it simplifies men's grooming by combining two benefits in one. It acts as a soothing aftershave and a daily moisturizer. So very simple. If you are, uh, you know, shaving and you're looking for something that, you know, normally you would use an aftershave conditioner that Avon used to sell possibly of your favorite fragrance. Um, you know, that would be what you would apply. This is going to take the place of that. Plus, this is your daily moisturizer that you can use if you want something just basic and simple. So it works great, smells great, it has a nice masculine scent, not too strong, but a very nice fresh masculine scent. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there because it really does smell good. I don't know why I don't use this more, but <laughs> but it is a great product. <laughs> um, now, the other product of the Gentology line, which I don't have with me, I'll just tell you and show you from the brochure. It is the Gentology Herb and Aloe All Over Wash. So what they mean by all over is it's for your face, for your hair, and your body. So it really is an all-in-one wash for the entire body and uh it's a it's a it's a uh it's this bottle right here i'll let you see it right there on the top 
and uh, that bottle right there is uh, 10.1 ounces. Um, it's again for face, hair, and body. Aloe and natural herbal extracts help to calm and soothe, refresh, energize, and deodorize as well. There's no parabens or mineral oil in the all over wash. In fact, both products of Gentology are dermatologist tested. So if you do have some skin irritations or sensitive skin, this is still a good product line for you. So um, this is a, I like to call a one and done moisturizer. So uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all over. You've got the it's the aftershave, the face moisturizer. The only thing it really doesn't have is sunscreen. So that that's it's, something we'll we'll cover more later. Um, yes. So what if we've got mm -hmm. um, a gentleman looking for a simple regimen, but something a little bit more luxury? So we do have something that does uh, offer that uh, uh, that uh, want, and it's this guy right here. This is a set we have called the Style. It's from Vonin. Uh, it is the style standard set. It is a set that includes a standard toner and a standard emulsion. So I'm going to show you that set looks like here. Um, so it's a two, another set here, very simple, just two products. So, you know, keeping it nice and simple. This is the set right here. Isn't that awesome? They look like uh, like car speakers or audio speakers, yeah. the way the bottles are designed. <laughs> yeah. So you notice I said there was two items, but there's four in here, Daniel. Well, that's because these here on the outside are the full size, and these two right here are travel size. So if you are a traveling man, don't worry. You don't have to take these big bottles with you, okay? They're glass. They're heavy. We don't want you to have to have any kind of fuss. Just take these smaller plastic travel size ones right here, and you're good to go. So... Um, I'm going to show you again what they uh, look like here. So this is the standard toner right here. Again, it's a toner, so it's liquid like water. Uh, you just splash it on like in instead of, uh, let's say, if you used to use an aftershave splash, for example. Um, those contain alcohol in it, and alcohol is not really good for the face. Okay, So something that is more skincare uh, related uh, that gives you the same nice fresh masculine scent afterwards after splashing it on your face this is that, what you want to use right here feeling, yeah yes absolutely definitely refreshing as soon as you put it on it's refreshing it's like oh it feels great it smells great and then you go for the standard emulsion so the emulsion same size bottle here it's a four and a half ounce bottle it's glass there and uh, so this is uh, I'm going to open this up here so you can see the emulsion so um, emulsion is a fancy word for lotion or cream and the emulsion is actually a light version of a lotion so um, so I'm going to just pull this little plastic thing up here that actually stays put here to keep the product in place so it doesn't spill <laughs> but I'm just going to put a little bit here on my hand uh, so you can see the little bit of emulsion. There it is right here. I'm going to leave my hand here so you can see it run down my hand. And there it goes. And that lets you know how lightweight it is. I'm just going to rub it in and, uh, ooh, it feels so refreshing, even on my hand. <laughs> so, um, it leaves a very, very, very lightweight. Okay. Great for the summer. Great for guys in general, because they don't like anything heavy. So, yeah. um, Ooh, That's actually fresh. a recurring theme that you'll see through the products that we're going to recommend, that they are all very lightweight because most guys really don't want anything with a heavy feel. Um, women sometimes right. like nice, rich, nourishing feel to it. Guys just kind of want something that's going to absorb quickly so it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like they're walking around with something on their face. They, they don't right, like exactly. And just so you can see it up close, there's the small travel size right there of the emulsion. So uh, this, yeah, this these travel cool. sizes are traveling guys. perfect. And then when you're done with it, you have this big full size here. You could just fill it up again. <laughs> so a little bit of, uh, of uh, environmental uh, uh, help there by uh, saving and reusing. <laughs> so... So that's our, our collections right. that we have just for, that are specifically for men, um, that generally, right. you know, women would not be interested in those sets. Um, but we Unless do they're buying them for have, you. <laughs> yeah. 
Unless, we do have, you know, the entire selection of Avon skincare, which men can use any of it. There's not a single product that men can't use, um, mm -hmm. but we kind of wanted to narrow it down for you a little bit. Um, products that are more, um, that, that men are more, um, more attracted to, um, whether it be because of the packaging styling or the texture or that mm -hmm. sort of thing, or that um, products that do work especially well for some of the skincare concerns that men are more likely to have, um, especially right. concerns related to facial hair and either removing it or keeping it because you have different skincare concerns whether you're shaving or whether you're keeping facial hair in some degree. Exactly. Um, so as we go through, um, a, a typical skincare regimen has four steps, and you may or may not do all four steps. Um, we definitely recommend at least that you cleanse. You want to get the day off of your skin at the end of the day, um, whether that be, you know, actual dirt and grime on your face, which, you know, a lot of guys do have. Um, jobs or work in environments where they do get more than your average amount of, um, you know, exhaust or, you know, road dirt or just dirt or grime or whatever in general. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you're into, um, you know, heavy sports or, or activities or you have hobbies where you're going to get out and like really heavy, sweaty, that builds up on yeah. your skin. So we definitely recommend washing your day off at the end of the day. And we definitely recommend uh, moisturizing and SPF. So th those steps we wouldn't really recommend skipping. Um, but the four basic steps are cleansing, treating, which is where mm -hmm. you have a specific concern that you want to really target, um, eye care, because, of course, the skin around the eyes is different from the rest of the face. Now, men's skin isn't different from women's, but the skin around the eye is different from the skin on the rest of your face. Um, and mm -hmm. then moisturize and SPF. Um, so starting with um, cleansing and kind of tying that into the shaving routine as well, what recommendations do you have um, from our product mm -hmm. line for that? So uh, well, since we are opened up with uh, cleansing and opened up with talking about shaving and all those concerns for men, uh, the, the, the best cleanser that will address all of that, I'm going to start with that one. And this one is called Dr. Belmer Amino Clear Bubble Foaming Cleanser. This is the full-size bottle here. Comes with a cap, has a pump on it. Um, one good pump in your hand is all you need. And uh, and then just make sure that your face is damp. So just kind of dampen it first before you uh, begin uh, using this so that you can just go ahead and put it in. Now, anytime you do uh, anything on your face, cleanser, uh, moisturizer, any of the steps, you always want to go up in an upward motion on your face. And that is how you apply skincare. So a lot of people don't know that, especially uh, those who may use it very little or just don't use it at all and are new to it or are interested in it. So that's how you would apply your skincare. So it's no different here with the cleanser. So again, it does address all of those concerns that Chris laid out there for all those different possible scenarios. Uh, works great uh, for oily skin. Oily skin does need moisturizing. You know, of course, you want to use products that are oil-free, uh, but uh, the reason your skin still needs a good moisturizing from a product is because you don't want your skin to overcompensate a lot of oil and make it really yucky and icky and icky or sticky after sweating. So you still want to cleanse with something great and get rid of that excess dirt and oil and uh, moisturize it at the same time so that it's good because moisturizing doesn't equal oil so yeah so um and plus if you have blemishes on your skin redness any areas that need attention especially little nicks on the face from shaving um or the ingrown hairs you mentioned this is also good for that too so again this this covers a lot uh the active ingredient in this is salicylic acid uh, so, um, and it does uh, a pretty darn good job of attacking those different uh, uh, concerns. Yeah, it really gets in there, clears out the pores, clears out the hair <laughs> follicles. So, um, and, and it does a really good job when you don't shave. It does a really good job at, at getting underneath the, the hair and, and cleansing mm -hmm. the skin under <clears throat> uh, goatee, beard, mustache, whatever you leave behind. 
um, yeah. there too. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Mm -hmm. So the one thing about salicylic acid, though, is it can sometimes be a little bit drying. Um, so if you have dry mm -hmm. skin, what would you recommend um, as a cleanser? So if you have dry skin or even a normal combination skin type, um, but really this product's good for all types, uh, I recommend the Belief uh, Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. Now this is a travel size, so it's not this tiny, but this is the jelly cleanser. Um, and it does come out looking and feeling like a jelly, but when you do mix it up with water and lather it pretty good and apply it to your face, it is nice and refreshing and moisturizing most importantly. So it's a great moisturizing cleanser for those with dry combination skin especially. Uh, so uh, this is what I would recommend in that case. Uh, so if you don't have a whole bunch of the concerns that we did go over with Dr. Belmer, then uh, this would be the best cleanser that uh, I would recommend for men. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, we do have kind of a half step um, in between a cleanser and a treatment, and those are scrubs and peels. Um, mm -hmm. Most men are probably not going to, unless they're looking for a really, really thorough skincare routine, are not necessarily going to get into those. Um, and scrubs and peels you wouldn't do every day. These are something you would add in maybe two, three times a week, sometimes as, as um, infrequently as once a week, um, just for an extra little boost in your skin. Um, but what ones would you say are the ones that um, would be of particular interest to concerns that men have with their skin? So two concerns that men would have with their skin uh, if they are looking for a treatment uh, would be um, those lines that uh, develop here around the eyes and go outward, that's known as crow's feet. A lot of that is from smiling, laughing, squinting, you know, so those concerns develop over time. And we do have uh, treatments that can uh, work for uh, for that. Uh, men can sometimes have dark circles under the eyes. There's a dark circle corrector that we have that addresses that. Um, and then the uh, the peels that you mentioned, I just wanted to show what they look like here, and they're right here. That's the extra strength retexturizing peel. So, uh, the, so if you do have specific concerns, we do have products for those, but the two main concerns for men there being the crow's feet, the uh, the the uh, dark circle corrector or puffiness under the eyes. Uh, and um, uh, those would be two areas that men would look at, I would think, uh, other than just the overall uh, regimen, those would be two targeted areas that men will be mostly, most likely to want to address if they're going to. Okay. And we'll, t we'll take mm -hmm. a look, look at those when we get to the eye step as well. Um, yes. So, um, so aside, so we go from cleansers, you might occasionally add a scrub or a peel, um, but then treatments are if you have something in particular that you want to address, um, for example, added moisture or um, mm -hmm. I know um, I'm, I'm going to let you cover all about your favorite one and all of the amazing things that that can do. Um, yes. For men's skin, especially related to um, razor burn and nicks and cuts and that. Um, but um, what about what um, a treatment particular concern again for guys that do work out um, outdoors or someplace where they're really dealing with a lot of environmental assault to their skin, be it smog, smoke, um, right. dirt, dust, all of that sort of stuff. Exactly. We have a mixed bag of it here in Vegas. Sometimes there might be smoggy during the winter when there's no air circulating and the air stagnant. Sometimes like, during this time of the year, we have smoke from the wildfires in neighboring California. And we do live in a desert, so it does get dusty around here every once in a while. So we do have a lot of pollutants in the air that are around us. And pollutants do attack our skin and do advance our aging, believe it or not. So... Yeah. You can protect against that, and that's for anybody, not just men, but this is a great product that would be great for those men who are working in environments like that, and this is called the Avon Anu Neutralize Anti-Pollution Serum. I'll hold it up close there for you. And so this serum here, you can use morning or night. Uh, of course, if you're going out for the day, I would recommend using it in the morning. Uh, smooth over cleansed skin, so of course, 
after cleansing is when you'd want to apply this to your face, okay? Uh, it does have charcoal in it, so it does come out of the pump black, uh, but it, uh, don't worry, it is okay. You just, once you rub it in, it, it goes, it becomes clear. So uh, it does have a nice, uh, fresh scent to it that it's is not, clean scent. yeah, yeah. Very clean and fresh, not overpowering at all whatsoever, not feminine either. So it is definitely uh, a, a good protection that you would put underneath. So after you cleanse, you'd use this because this protects it from even getting to penetrating your skin, protects those you from those uh, pollutants in the air. So uh, that is what I would recommend for, the, for, for uh, concerns of being out in harsh environments. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. So what would you recommend for somebody who um, wants an extra boost of moisture beyond whatever they might be using for a moisturizer? So the extra boost there that you can apply first, you know, to, to have it work coincide, uh, coincide with your moisturizer, the first step in that of moisturizing. So let's say you've moisturized with the belief moisturizer we talked about. Let's say we want to keep that moisturizing thing going. Well, Avon Anu also has a line called Hydrofusion uh, that uh, addresses uh, moisturizing the face. Uh, it is a line that we have that is marketed as a gender neutral line. So men or women could use it. And uh, the packaging clear. It's great. It's gender neutral. <laughs> this is the Hydrofusion 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So hyaluronic acid is a term that's used a lot when it comes to moisturization. Uh, as hyaluronic acid, uh, uh, it, it holds a lot of moisture, like really is able to penetrate and moisturize your, your skin, but hold a lot of moisture, uh, like uh, 1,200 times its own weight, which is an enormous amount of moisture. So you will feel moisturized all day after using some of this for sure. So, you know, um, I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here and uh, demonstrate that a little bit here. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> but uh, there it is. It's clear. And and as you see my skin as it is now, I'm just going to rub it in and just kind of let it let you see that nice moisturizing shine here as I do that. But it just sinks, sinks right in. I mean, I'm already seeing and feeling yeah, it. <laughs> it absorbs. Yeah, so you just get that shine for a moment and then it just mm -hmm. sinks in. Your skin's just more moisturized and smoother. So it's especially good if you if your skin is dry. Oh, enough. yeah that you get that sort of parched desert look like mm -hmm. the really fine lines that make that look like a crackled desert sometimes so uh, yeah so and again a clean almost non-existent scent honestly yeah. uh with that one so um it's it's uh, very clean clear and fresh uh most importantly so that's a great one for moisturizing and then mm -hmm. um, your favorite treatment that, um, if I remember correctly, you use this every single day, and it has yes. a, a particularly appealing feature to it um, if you're somebody who is dealing with razor burn or, or little nicks or things, um, or even if you don't realize that um, just the, a razor every day when you're, when you're shaving um, is actually causing little micro injuries to the skin every time every time you use them. Mm -hmm. um, so we have something good that kind of helps um, helps soothe that and and kind of uh, protect you from that type of damage. That, uh, that I right. Really exactly. Yeah. This is by far my favorite. I mean, this was my favorite, and I and I do love this product. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I still do, but. My favorite now that I use every day is right here, and that's the Dr. Belmer Sika Peptide Ampule. The ampule is another word, fancy word for serum, um, and and uh, the ampule here has Sika. And if you haven't heard that term before, or maybe you have, uh, Sika comes from what's also known as tiger grass. Uh, tiger grass is what tigers roll in whenever they want to heal their wounds, you know, from fighting or any other kind of wounds they may have sustained. They just roll around in the tiger grass and it heals it. So, um, well, we don't have to do any rolling around in it, but we can just <laughs> apply it. 
<laughs> we could just apply it to our face and it has the same effect. So and that's this is one of those super lightweight serums as well. Very yeah. lightweight. Watch this. I'm going to open it up close. You'll see the lid just kind of pop up right there. And uh, the reason why is because it's got a, a vial here that it's in right there. Looks very scientific, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and I didn't do this before, but I'm going to do it now. Uh, I'm just going to do a little tiny pump here. Boom. Little drop is just to see it. And there it is. Um, and you just another one of those things, yeah. too, that a little goes a very long way. That's a theme you'll see across yeah. a lot of our skincare products. Yes. See, notice I'm just that little drop. I'm still rubbing it in all over my whole palm. And I have big hands. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, immediately when I do this, so soft, I mean, to the touch, it's super soft. Um, the Sika uh, um, in it repairs uh, any kind of damage to your skin. Uh, you know, we there's other line products in Dr. Belmer with Sika, like the recovery cream that we don't have here. But uh, I just wanted to mention that those also work towards you know, just because it has Sika in it to repair damaged skin or areas of attention, like we were mentioning those areas of different nicks and stuff from shaving, maybe ingrown hairs, maybe redness or irritation. This is the one that is going to address those and help remedy those while still giving you that nice soft baby bottom touch and softness on your face. That, that touchable softness. Very touchable. I mean, just super soft. Um, as soft as, uh, um, I can't remember his name from the Of Mice and Men story. If you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Lenny, I think. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Lenny. Yes. So nice and soft. <laughs> so excellent product. That's definitely the best treatment, I think, that we have available for you. So mm -hmm. I recommend it highly. What do you recommend? We mentioned earlier about the uh, the crow's feet around the eyes and like puffiness or dark circles under the eyes. Do you have anything that you recommend for those? I do. So going back to the Hydrofusion line, there is an, a fantastic product that we have for the eyes. It is the Depuffing Eye Serum. Um, and I'm going to show you that here. This is what it is. It's that little tube right here, which I actually had... Uh, didn't even bring in here with me, but here it is. And uh, so it's got a little uh, at the end there where it's kind of slanted to where you could actually just kind of apply it with the product itself. But yeah, it's uh, a ceramic tip. And so it has yeah. a very cooling effect. It feels really nice going on. It does. It's a nice cooling effect. Um, and just like with anything with the eyes, you don't want to tug on those that skin under your eyes. It's really sensitive because that's only going to make uh, you know the, the skin stretch out more. And that's obviously going against what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it nice and firm. <laughs> so uh, in this case, with the depuffing eye serum, that addresses, of course, puffiness. And it also helps with the dark circles. So if the best example for that is if you are a guy who works graveyard, works the third shift, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of times, even though you may get your rest, you may still notice that your eyes have some puffiness or some dark circles because, you know, the body clock is just not used to being awake during the night and asleep during the day. So yeah. sometimes that does wear on you. That's a great product for people who work the third shift. Anyone I know who works the third shift, I tell them about that product because not uh, most likely they're going to have some kind of puffiness or dark circle issue going on. They're going to be so, lacking in sleep a little bit. Yeah. Yes, so exactly. For, um, for crow's feet, if you've got the, the little lines around there. For that, uh, a specific targeted treatment that uh, would be great for that is the, uh, the Anu... Uh, line eraser with retinol targeted treatment. Mm. Um, that works really well with that. Uh, that it's right here. Um, mm -hmm. That little uh, silver tube there. Now that does have retinol, which of course works against those fine lines and wrinkles. But uh, with you know that targets those deep lines around those targeted areas, like we were talking about the crow's feet. So repeat use of that will definitely help see a difference. And the best thing to always do whenever you're trying to 
Yeah, smooth it out. And the best thing to do, if you really want to see your results, do a before and after picture so that you can see where you start. And then after a week or two, check it out and compare it and you'll get to see the results and you'll be pretty impressed with them. Um, now, um, that is what I would recommend for crow's feet. Now, if you're looking, again, the moisturizing theme that we've been kind of touching on here, uh, there's a great moisturizing uh, eye cream that we have called the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is the travel size, um, but this stuff works really great for uh, just moisturizing in general so just like the entire belief line it's all about moisturizing yeah. <laughs> anytime you use Double hydration yes anytime you use uh creams you always want to yeah. use your ring finger because it's your weakest finger especially when you're using for your for your eyes because that area is so sensitive you don't want to go <laughs> you just want to just go <laughs> you know and dab it so anytime you use this you just want to dab your eyes just a little bit uh, anytime you apply any kind of eye cream um, and, uh, and make sure to do both sides. But yeah, you don't want to rub it in again. As, as I said earlier, that just kind of stretches out that skin and that's not what you want to do. So. Yeah, yeah, you always want to avoid tugging and pulling around the eyes. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, exactly. And that's your, your fun fact for the day, that your ring finger is your weakest finger. <laughs> yes, your ring I, finger I, is your weakest finger. Remember correctly, it's because the ring finger has one less tendon in it than the other fingers do. So kind of feels that way now that I'm. Yeah, so yeah, it kind of feels that way you know, when I'm doing that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would recommend for eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then our last step for a skincare regimen is um, just general all-over moisturizer. Um, and SPF. SPF is very important um, because aside mm -hmm. from pollution, or the, the only thing that does more aging than pollution and heredity is sun damage. Um, yes. And if you enjoy outdoor sports, if you work outside, or even if you just work near a window or drive a lot, you do mm -hmm. still need SPF. Even on cloudy days, guys. <laughs> yes, even on cloudy days, we do have a UV index, so keep that in mind because the sun rays, the clouds only block the light. They don't block the rays from coming through. Yeah, the ones that age. Mm -hmm. So what do you recommend for, um, for moisturizer? Are there any moisturizers you recommend that don't have sunscreen, or are they all combination moisturizer and sunscreen? Um, well, we got one that does have uh, sunscreen. So again, for our simple guys that just want something simple, quick, and easy that addresses yeah, things that are on done. the go. Yep, the one and done guys. <laughs> this is the Anus Invincible uh, Day Lotion with SPF 50. So this here is your moisturizer. And as you see, it's an easy pump. Okay, you don't have to use your fingers like we were touching. Just put it on a finger and just rub it in that upward motion. And if you're going to be outdoors, SPF 50, uh, of course, is a great protection for you from those harmful UV rays. So, uh, be sure, mm -hmm. get the ears. Get the yeah. ears, yes. If, unless you have long hair, you want to make sure you get the back of the neck, um, you know, so you can use that in any exposed uh, areas. And um, that's actually what my husband uses when he's going to be spending a lot of time out, outside. He's a photographer who shoots at car shows a lot for car magazines. And mm -hmm. um, so he spends a lot of time outdoors at these events. And um, he likes the Skin Invincible because it's got the SPF 50, which is the highest SPF that we carry. Um, and mm -hmm. it's actually one of only two products that we carry with the SPF 50. The rest are all um, 25. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's really good sun protection for him because he does have very fair skin. Um, mm -hmm. And then it also, the Skin Vincible has some of those similar qualities to the um, neutralized anti-pollution serum. It does kind of protect against some of those environmental um, assaults as well. Not to the same yes. degree that the anti-pollution does, but it does give you that extra benefit. So, mm -hmm. uh, exactly. yeah, so those make a really great combination if you do spend a lot of time outside where you're exposed yeah. to that pollution or sometimes exactly. indoor pollution as well you know there there can be indoor pollution um you know like if you work in an auto shop there's exhaust um if you work in some place you know here in southern nevada we have um casinos and they're smoking in the casino cigarettes oh yeah 
that you can be around mm-hmm. something like that as well that you want to kind of give yourself some extra protection for. So. For sure. One other benefit too from the Skinvincible line is it's great for sensitive skin. They're unscented. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that is another uh, great thing that uh, for those who have any kind of skin irritations or concerns. Yeah, it's one of the very few products um, in anybody's collection that mm-hmm. has SPF and is tested for sensitive skin. Um, that's yes. It. That's very yeah. unusual. And it again, is very like unusual. The other that we recommended, it's very lightweight. That it is. Very lightweight. Day lotion is true to the word because it is for the daytime and it is lightweight. So, uh, you know, it, it's almost borderline emulsion, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, pretty so close. What do you recommend for anybody who wants a good moisturizer, but a moisturizer for nighttime that doesn't need or want the SPF? So good moisturizer for nighttime that doesn't want the SPF. So i got a couple of great moisturizers here. The one that I would use at night, however, because uh, when you're at home uh, in the evening, you can, use, you can use something that's just a tad bit little more thicker than our lightest uh, creams. And yeah. so what I would recommend would be the, uh, the Belief Moisturizing Balm which comes in a jar that looks like this. However, I have it in a special packaging right now. Um, so, um, and so this is the same amount of cream that would be in here, but the moisturizing balm, um, it's, uh, it, it does exactly what it is. It's a balm of moisture on your face. So uh, no mineral oils, uh, you know, no synthetic fragrances or organic dyes. There's no animal drive ingredients. It's dermatologically dermatologically tested, easy for me to say, but that is all, that all equals great for sensitive skin, great for using, you know, natural product in it. So it's, it's, it's really great. You had mentioned um, earlier with the other belief products, the entire belief line is all herbally based. So yes, it is. All of these these herbal, um, you know, a a blend of herbs that um, was developed like a hundred years ago from somebody that really was looking for um, a a really good herbal blend that was really good for skin. So they put in all these really good things and left out all the things that you might want to avoid. Um, so that's yes. one really nice thing that you can feel really good about using the belief line because it is a more absolutely option. Yeah. It is. It combines time-trusted apothecary herbal traditions with modern Korean skincare science. Uh, honesty, simplicity, and transparency are in all aspects of the entire brand. So yeah. definitely you can feel good about using Belief. Um, so that's the moisturizing balm that I would recommend for evening. For the daytime, the more lighter version, that would be the Aqua Balm, which is my favorite day or night. That, that is my favorite. <laughs> there is not a day goes by that I do not use that. And yes. it is fantastic for oily skin. It actually fantastic. helps control the oil. It helps keep you from getting shiny and oily. Um, as it does. This is great for, yeah, even for the oily skin customers too. So I'm just going to open that up here and show you. It's got this cover here. It's got the little flap right there where you can just lift on up. And there's the product. It even looks blue. See? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like, aqua. That's not coloring. That's just the natural ingredients have a bit of that's, a blue tinge yeah. to them. It's got a little blue tinge to it. Yeah, it's not. it's completely natural coloring. It's not artificial coloring. It just smells so clean and so good and fresh. Uh, and to feel it on your face, moisturize and do its work, just sink right in. It, it feels really good. So, uh, and you'll even get a better effect if you're one of those type of people or if you know somebody who's one of those type of people that likes to refrigerate their skincare. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Especially something like that's... this. You come home after, you know, well, okay, you want to wash your face first. You don't want to put that on top of whatever you've gotten on your face during the day. But you come home on a hot summer day, if you don't have a bunch of, like, gook on your face from the day, Mm -hmm. just put some Mm -hmm. of that on. It looks so refreshing. Absolutely. It really does. It's (laughs) that combined with the the, uh, eye cream. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, but those are my... uh, uh, 
favorite, uh, or my, not only my favorite uh, moisturizer there, the Belief Aqua Bomb, but those are the ones that I would recommend for men if they're looking for uh, to have an actual routine of skincare uh, that they can use um, and and you know get in the hang of doing there, so they can have all the different products. So. Yeah. Yeah. You can easily do the the belief cleanser, eye cream. You could do the either the moisturizing balm or the aqua balm, or you could do like you said, use the aqua balm in the morning and the moisturizing at night if you're gonna really mm -hmm. do a full skincare routine and then add the skin vincible during the day for the sunscreen. And and it's a really simple, um, simple routine. Yeah. This is my routine things. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and that's the, that's the really great thing about if, um, you know, especially if you're new to skincare or you're wanting to change up your skincare game, the great thing about getting your skincare from Avon is you're not just getting the product, you're getting the mm -hmm. Avon lady or the Avon man who's going to help you find the right product for you. So right. if you want a regimen that's only two or three steps, we're going to help you find the best multi-purpose products for that. If you mm -hmm. want to throw everything if you want to do everything you can to improve the look and feel of your skin we're going to help you develop a regimen for that as well so we're going to we're going to work with you and work with your needs and your situation and help you find just the right regimen um, for the so for the outdoorsy. out for the outdoorsy this is a good regimen too yes yeah mm-hmm yeah, right there. Yeah, it's a really good cleanser. Yeah, so you see, that's you know, we're we're gonna help you find the right thing um, for for you. Yes. So that is for you. The other mm -hmm. benefit besides, not only do we have a very extensive skincare portfolio, so whatever you're looking for, we probably have it, but we're gonna help you weed through that portfolio and narrow mm -hmm. down your collection to just what you need, nothing more, nothing less, um, mm -hmm. and, and help you get the best skin you can have. Absolutely. We all we all have skin. We all want to have it look great for as long as we can before we age too much. <laughs> so um, yeah, we want to we want to uh, just like any other part of our body that we are, you know, uh, that we are conscious about taking care of our face does, you know, is the first thing people look at. So if you want it to look good and look healthy and look young, then uh, it's never too late to start using skincare. And I will tell you why. When the belief came out, this cream right here, mm -hmm. I introduced it to my father. My father is 69 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, I introduced it to him last year. So well, when it came out, he was 68 years old. So <laughs> um, he's never used skincare ever. Never. Okay, if, if rarely. I mean, he might clean his face, but that's really it. Um, mm -hmm. He put this on. He loved the way it felt in his hand when I had him sample it. He put that on his face, and he's been hooked to it. In fact, he's on his second bottle. <laughs> so uh, it's actually a tube. I got him the tube when it was yeah. out in that set. But, um, but yeah, because it came with the cleanser. So I'm going to yeah. see if he's hooked to this now so that now he can have a regimen <laughs> going instead of just the moisture. Yeah. So, but he... For, for never using skincare and to jump in and use something as great as this number one selling cream from That's Sephora and Ulta that we carry here at Avon, the Be Belief Aqua Bomb. It, it, for him to love that, I just thought was awesome because, yeah, uh, yeah it, it, it's yeah, great. Make somebody after 68 years, they love the way their skin looks and feels enough to change a 68 year long habit. That's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Yeah, creating new habits is not an easy thing to do, especially when we've had a few decades to entrench our existing habits. It's hard mm -hmm. to change those. So that tells you just how powerful of a cream that is. So, yes. And, it's, and we have a lot of products that are like that. So definitely I invite you guys, you know, guys, really, come on, check out what we've got. You will yes. love the way your skin looks. You will love the way your skin feels. And, um, you know, and we can do it in a way that doesn't take you a lot of time every day. 
Exactly. I mean, it's, you know, like we said, we have something that's, we started off with simple, and then we went into the more in depth. So like you, like you said, we're, we're here to help you as your representatives be able to find the best skincare regimen for you, what works for you and what addresses the concerns that you have. Yeah, we definitely do mm -hmm. not believe in one size fits all. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, Daniel, helping me to explain um, to any of the men out there that are watching um, how, you know, how they, they can uh, develop their own skincare routine and what products we might recommend for them. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it definitely helps to show why you are such a successful Avon man, because you do know your products very, very well and um, know how to help your customers pick those out. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you inviting me on to be able to uh, help uh, go over all of these great products that we have, not just for ladies, but for the men as well. So